exertion wise, this is like 5%. Like it is just so easy. I've done a shakeout before afternoon races for at least the last five years. The worry is that you'll sit all day and your hip flexors will get really tight and you won't be able to do your full stride. It just kind of breaks up the day and lets you get outside. Harry Jerome 1500, it's just, I guess there's not something super significant about it. It was just another kind of check-in. Now I'm about to go roll out the same thing I was doing and before my shakeout. Do that same routine just to get my muscles loosened up and making sure that I'm ready to go. When I'm just chilling and trying to kind of calm down, yeah, I'll listen to some country music, but, which a lot of my teammates make fun of me for, because I'm supposedly the only country music fan in our groups. We always say that, like, relaxed running is fast running, and so I always just try to be relaxed, and country music seems to do it for me, so. With my sports psychologist and I, we created like this ultra ego called Grey Wolf Mentality, which is my middle name. And I kind of just go to this very dark place of in the hospital on an IV and just you hear that like drippy noise. I don't know why I go to that place, but that's just kind of where I go. Kind of calms me a little bit too, which is a bit strange. Just working on some race tactics. Still trying to figure out which race tactic works the best for me. Either being a front runner or you're in the top three at all times or someone who likes to come from behind what they call a kick. Still trying to find what strategy works best for me. We're trying to be mid-pack on this one and have a really big last lap. I did some of it, right? 